Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to download and install AVG free for Windows. AVG is a free um, antivirus program. It works really good and uh, it's free so you can't beat it. It's really, uh, it's one of, it's my favorite antivirus program as a matter of fact. So what we'll do is you can go to google.com or Bing, whatever, um, and just type in AVG free. Okay, now the first few spots up here, these are paid ads, and who God only knows what is on them. So we'll go down here to, to the one that says free.avg.com. That's what we're looking for. And just click it. And all we want for now is the free version. Click there. Okay, then they have other versions you can look at too if you're interested in. You know, um, they have all different features, but for most people, you know, the free one is probably good enough. So we'll just at least it's good enough to get you started. So we'll just click download and click download again. And download again. Um, to help protect your security, Internet Explorer blocked the site from downloading files to your computer. Click here for options. So we're going to download the file. That's a Windows thing. Very annoying. And we want to save it. And generally I save things on the desktop so that they're easy to find. I would just leave the file name as it is and save. Now if you're on dial-up, it's going to take a lot longer than what we just saw there. We'll close it, close this, and now we're going to close the browser. Okay, you don't want the browser running while you're installing an antivirus program. And here's the um, file. Now we'll just double click it. Do you want to allow the computer to make changes? Yes. Okay, now um, there's nothing too uh, intense about installing AVG. You just want to keep an eye on what's going on. So, okay, I'll click next. Oh, and here we go again. So we'll just click basic protection. They're just trying to sell you stuff. Click next. And this might jump ahead a little bit. I'm going to edit some of this out. So if it jumps around a little bit, don't worry. OK, it's still working away here. At this point, don't touch anything. Just let it keep going. OK, now you're supposed to, in theory, you're supposed to read this. OK. Click that. You can print it out if you want. And then you have to click accept. And it's installing stuff. Uh, you have to choose now between the standard or the custom installation. Um, I would just go with the standard installation. Click next. You might, might want to put your name in. Then click, don't touch this. And just click next. Uh, now here, this is important here. Install AVG Security Toolbar. Um, do, I would not do that. It's just going to add more stuff to your computer. Um, and also, Set Yahoo as my default search provider in the address bar. Okay, so you really, you know, you can do this stuff if you want. I just don't think I would. But if you want it, go ahead. There's probably a way to turn it off once it once it's installed. But uh, I'm gonna unclick that stuff. I'm gonna click next. 
again, this might skip around a little bit. And this is going to take a few minutes, so don't or don't panic if it, if it looks like it's not doing anything. It is. It just uh, takes a while. Okay, looks like it's just about done. Looks like it's finishing up. Let's see what happens. Okay, now it's updating itself. Or at least checking to see if it needs an update. Okay, let's see. Uh, down here, I agree to provide anonymous information about detected threats to improve my security. What that means is that if AVG finds something that's a, that it isn't quite sure of, it's going to send information back to the company. Um, there's probably really no harm in this, other than the fact that it could be using system resources when you maybe don't want it to. Um, it's up to you if you want to. If, the, it, if you want to do it, go ahead and leave it checked. I'm going to uncheck it, though, and click Finish. Okay, now, let's see. You can optimize scanning now or wait until the first schedule, scheduled scan starts. Um, what this do is what this does, I'm sorry, is it kind of goes through your computer really quick to um, figure out what's on your machine to start with. And so it's probably not a bad idea to go ahead and do it. And let's see what happens. And it's in progress. Let's see if we can. Let's let's go ahead and just um, start it up. AVG will click double click this. Okay, so it's still in progress, and uh, I'm going to stop it for now, but if there was a virus that would come up, it would be right in here, and it would tell you what to do to get rid of it. So I'm just going to stop this for now, and we're just going to optimize it with next scheduled scan. Okay, and we're just going to quit for now. So that's really how you install it and get it going. Um, Let's go ahead and just one more time to scan to scan your computer. What you do is you just double click this. And click computer scanner. And then click either scan whole computer or scan specific files or folders. You might you might not want to take the time to scan your whole computer because uh, it can take forever. But if you're not sure about like one specific file somewhere, let's look on the um, desktop if I can find it. Okay, so maybe you just want to scan the stuff that's on your desktop. So then just click Start Scan. I don't have much there, but let's see what happens. And there you go, so that you can just pick out which ones you want to scan. If you wanted to do the whole computer, again, you just go back to Computer Scanner, then click Scan Whole Computer, and it will start scanning. Okay, I think that's about it. If you have any questions or anything, uh, let me know. It's not terribly complicated, um, but if you need help, I'll, I'll do what I can for you. Okay, thanks.